If your work week has got you feeling like running for the weekend, we've got some fresh local events to get you weekend ready this summer so you can soak up some sun while stimulating the local economy and have a great time doing it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Jeremiah Stroop here, and for over a decade I've showcased and highlighted independent artists and creators, local businesses and shops, and unique individuals and events. And because we know that your weekend might not fall on a Saturday or Sunday, we've got all kinds of local events and happenings for you to explore so you can make the most of your days off. Local festivals, marketplaces, and pop-ups, and so much more to explore in a city near you. And you'll know your dollars are making a difference close to home in your local community supporting small local businesses and events. This is your Weekend Rundown. Let's get into it. are a few free local events you won't want to miss. Portland's original free outdoor movie series, Flicks on the Bricks, presented by Smart Park, returns live this summer to Portland's living room, Pioneer Courthouse Square, for a multi-day event beginning Friday, July 22nd through Sunday, July 24th. The square will be transformed into Portland's largest outdoor movie theater for all the community members to enjoy. And thanks to really big videos, huge LED screen, daytime viewing, and kid-friendly movies will also be areas of check it out. Kickstand Comedy is proud to present Comedy in the Park, bringing free live shows back to Portland audiences all summer long. Featuring the Pacific Northwest's favorite comics performing in one of the city's most beautiful spaces, Laurelhurst Park. Blank is dropped at 5 p.m., show starts at 6.30 p.m. Children, picnics, and leashed pups are always welcome at local Portland area parks where the original practice Shakespeare Festival is proud to bring admission-free Shakespeare back to the Portland Public Parks this summer. The OPS Fest company of skilled, flexible actors will occasionally interrupt songs, dances, and sketches throughout. This weekend gives you the chance to support local theater and soak up some Shakespeare and maybe even a little sunshine. Here's a list of some upcoming shows you can attend for free. Shows begin at 7 p.m. and the audience is welcome to arrive during the hour before to watch the pregame dance and fight rehearsals. Now through July 27th, the Oregon Society of Artists is proud to announce the first international multicultural show at OSA. This exhibition will showcase the diverse artwork, backgrounds, and creativity of national and international artists. It will feature work by artists of all ages, social economic backgrounds, abilities, cultures, ethnicities, races, sexualities, and more. The first international multicultural show at OSA is free and will highlight premier works that celebrate art and culture in all of its innumerable forms. Wayward Winds Lavender, in my hometown, Newburgh, Oregon, is one of the largest Yupik fields in Oregon where you can experience an abundance of fragrant and beautiful lavender. Enjoy refreshing lavender treats, products for the kitchen, personal care, and home, plus plants and award-winning essential oils. Come enjoy the beauty of this magical herb at Wayward Winds this July. Always free admission and fragrant fun for all ages. Well, there you go. All types of exquisite events for you to explore in a city near you. And you'll know that your dollars are making a difference close to home. Of course, there's so much more to explore on our social media accounts and our website, yourweekendrundown.com. And we'll be back next week, broadcasting locally and streaming globally. And I'll see you there. I'm Jeremiah Stroop. And remember, it's your weekend. You might as well run. It's